Welcome to day one of the Mind Body Pelvic Health Boot Camp. This is a 10 day challenge designed to remind you that when it comes to pelvic health, everything is connected mind, body, energy, emotions, all of it, and our pelvic floor. You are a forward thinker. You are someone who understands that you really need to look at the whole person when it comes to health, not just one single body part. It's actually all connected. It's all connected. So good job. I'm so glad you're here. I'm Dr. Bree and I'm your camp counselor today. And before we get to today's day one challenge, which is going to be one physical exercise that's great for pelvic floor strength. And I'm going to give you a really, really important holistic challenge for the mind body connection. But before we get to all that, I really encourage you to give this video a like because that way it'll be saved to your liked videos and it's really easy then for you to come back to this challenge anytime you need a little mind body reset. So let's get right to the physical challenge. We're going to start with the physical challenge first. And this is one move that you can do every single day for the rest of your life to really help your pelvic health. It's child's pose. <laughs> you might be thinking, oh my gosh, Brie, why are you talking about child's pose? This is a, a yoga stretch. It's a stretching pose. This doesn't do anything for pelvic strength. Well, let me tell you why child's pose is so great. But first, let me just show you child's pose. This is what child's pose looks like, and you can try it with me right now. You sit up nice and tall, inhale. You exhale all your air out. And then as you're exhaling or after you exhale, you're going to hinge forward at your hips right in here. And you're going to walk your hands forward and your head can be on the floor or it can be on a pillow or a yoga block. You can also play with your knees slightly apart if that feels better for you. And if child's pose just isn't going to work because maybe you don't want to get down on the floor or it feels bad on your knees, then let me show you two modifications. So the first one is in standing. You can do this modification standing at a countertop or at the back of a chair, like a sturdy chair. And what you're going to do is you're going to hold on to the countertop or the sturdy chair. Inhale. Your knees are slightly bent. You exhale and hinge at your hips so that you're in a nice kind of L-shaped position, but your knees are bent. So your back is flat, your sitting bones are sticking back behind you. It's like they're shining back behind you. They're not tucked under and curled under, they're actually open behind you. And by sitting bones, I mean your butt bones, or officially, we're talking about your ischial tuberosities, which on a pelvis are right here and here, these two parts of your pelvic bone right there, your sitting bones. So that's one option is standing at a countertop. The other option is sitting in a chair and it can be really nice to have yoga blocks that you can put your hands on. You are sitting up nice and tall. You exhale all your air out and then hinge forward from your hips and just have your hands resting on the yoga blocks for support. And it's very similar to child's pose. You're just in a modified version seated in a chair. And honestly, you could do this at work if you wanted to, if you have a desk job. So standing or seated or in a full child's pose on the ground, or you can be in puppy pose. So puppy pose is another nice option on the floor where your hips are above your knees and your hands are forward. <sighs> Your feet can be flexed or flat on the ground. So what I'd like for you to do is find your position of comfort. Find the position that feels best in your body, whether that's a full child's pose or a child's pose modification where you are standing at a countertop or the back of a chair or seated in a chair. And I want for you to simply be present. Simply be in your body out of your head and in your body. That is what embodiment is, being out of your mind, out of your head, and focused and present in your body. So in your position of comfort for child's pose, 
I would like for you to please just focus on breathing and being. I simply want you to breathe softly, calmly, down into your belly, your low back area, your side body area. Breathe down into your side ribs, just down low. Try not to make the breath all trapped and high up here in your chest and shoulders and neck. You wanna bring the breath down. I'd also like for you to really focus on softening the pelvic floor muscles, which if you don't really know where they are, basically I want you to think about that area between your two sitting bones. The area between your sitting bones. Feel as if that area is softening, melting like chocolate, opening and releasing. Feel as if your sitting bones are drawing apart while you're in your child's pose position. And I hope you're trying this with me right now. The best way to really understand is to simply experience it for yourself. So feel as if your sitting bones are drawing apart. You can feel as if you're breathing into your anus, breathing into your genitals, softening your anus, softening your genitals, softening that area as you breathe. So you don't have to do anything else. Now the thing is, stress amps up our nervous system, which makes the muscles in our body clench up, especially the face, the jaw, the shoulders, the pelvic floor. So right now, we're calming the mind, calming the body, and unclenching those muscles. Continue to breathe into this part of your body, just melting, softening, blossoming. And feel now that you can begin to couple the breath, your breathing, with a little bit of very gentle activation of the pelvic floor as you exhale. So what I mean by this is I want you to bring in a little strength work. So now that we've relaxed, we can begin some strengthening. And if you are done with child's pose altogether and you wanna flip over and lie on your back, that's fine too. But if you're happy in your child's pose position, stay right where you are. No matter what position you're in, we're gonna bring in the breath and some pelvic floor activation, like a Kegel contraction. So I want you to think about inhaling and softening, no contraction, but as you exhale, as you breathe out, feel as if your pelvic floor muscles are lifting up toward your head, okay? So inhale, soften and release. Exhale, gently, Squeeze and lift your pelvic floor muscles toward your head. So if you happen to be seated in an upright position at this point, then your head is up. If you're in child's pose, your head is probably this way. <laughs> no matter what position you're in, think of those pelvic floor muscles going toward your head as you exhale. So inhale, release, and then exhale. Squeeze and lift your pelvic floor muscles toward your head. All right, nice job. And just to sum up that physical challenge, what you did is you spent a little bit of time in the position, the child's pose position, just relaxing. And then you brought in an intentional Kegel exercise, an intentional pelvic floor contraction as you did your exhale, as you did your out breath. So you breathed in and softened and you breathed out and felt that squeeze and lift of your pelvic floor as a little extra boost, a little extra intentional contraction. Now let's talk about the holistic challenge for today. So the holistic challenge is a mindset challenge that really, again, brings in that mind-body connection. And the fact that our world is full of stress and overwhelm right now threat, uncertainty from the news we watch to people we follow online to you know the world events that are happening around the globe and in politics and just everything. It's a lot. Not to mention if you have a health condition, you probably are Googling and looking up what is going on and how to fix it. Maybe you're on a forum, like an online support group, and maybe those places don't always feel so safe. Maybe those places sometimes feel like they're dragging you down. 
So if there is anything in your life that is feeling like it is overwhelming, that it makes you feel contracted rather than expansive, then that is something that I would like you to detox today. I'd like you to get rid of it. Just one thing. We don't have to do a complete overhaul and get rid of everything. But I would like for you to really take a solid inventory of what you're consuming online. Really look at everything. And we're going to detox one thing out of your life to minimize stress. And when you let it go, please don't replace it with something new. What we're wanting to do is slowly build in more white space into your day, more time where you're actually not consuming anything. So get rid of one thing that's dragging you down. And ways that you can know is when you look at this thing online, whether it's an account you follow on Instagram or a YouTuber that you're subscribed to on YouTube, or maybe a news channel you watch or a website you like to go to or a forum or a Facebook group or a support group of some type that maybe isn't so supportive, whatever it is, you can notice whether or not it's good for you. If after you've looked at it or as you're looking at it, What's happening to your heart? Are you noticing that maybe your heart is beating faster in kind of a scared way? Are you noticing that your breath is shallow? Maybe you're you're feeling tight through your ribs because you're not breathing well. You're holding your breath. Do you leave this website or this support group or this news channel feeling physically and emotionally drained of energy? Do you feel just kind of yucky, like you need to take a shower after looking at something that's maybe like a gossip website or something that talks about other people or just complains? Whatever it may be that makes you leave feeling contracted and not expansive, if you notice that, then I need you to unfollow that account or unsubscribe or delete the website from your apps or from your smartphone or whatever, delete the app, unfollow the account, unsubscribe, whatever it may be. Just one. That's all I'm asking you to do is just one. But again, don't replace it with anything else. Allow the white space in your life to open up so you have more time just to focus on the things that do bring you joy, the accounts and news sources and media outlets that do make you feel uplifted and not like you're being dragged down, not like you're being discouraged Not like you're comparing yourself to this other person or feeling bad about yourself after looking at it. I want you to have more joy in your life, more expansion and more pleasure. Less of the things that make you feel stressed out, clenched up, contracted, discouraged, dragged down, fearful, and stressed out. Get rid of it. You need to look out for you. Your body is the most important resource that you have is your health. So you've got to look out for it and protect yourself by eliminating at least one today thing that's dragging you down. So that is your challenge for the day is to do your one physical move, this child's pose, which hopefully you already did with me. So your child's pose is the physical challenge. Child's pose, it's the best move you can do for strength ultimately is to learn how to relax first. So relax your pelvic floor, your back, your hips in child's pose, just breathe and soften. And then you can bring in a little pelvic floor activation with the breath. Do one to two minutes of relaxing and then one to two minutes of activating the pelvic floor with your breath and you're done. The second part of today's challenge is our holistic challenge, which is that digital detox. Unfollow one account, unsubscribe to one, YouTube, whatever it may be, just one, just one thing. Unfollow it, unsubscribe, get rid of it from your life. You don't need it. Now to bring it all together, we're going to end today's challenge with an affirmation. And today's affirmation is, I soften so that I can be strong. I soften so that I can be strong. You could also think of it as, I release so that I can gain strength. I release so that I can gain strength. Keep that focus phrase, that affirmation in your mind and in your heart all day long as you really take to heart today's physical challenge of child's pose and holistic challenge of the digital detox and see what happens. I want to hear 
how you feel about this, what you learn about yourself as you move into child's pose and try to focus on softening and relaxing. And also as you think about what you're going to let go of, what you are going to digitally detox out of your life so that you have more white space, more calm, more peace, and more joy and less stress. Let me know how it goes for you in the comments. I'm really curious. And if you'd like to get this entire 10 day challenge emailed to you, plus some extra bonuses that are really going to take it over the top, then please check the video description. I've also included a more detailed write up of today's challenge, why it's so important, how it's going to help you and a link to how you can get the 10 day challenge emailed to you so that you don't miss a single day. So check that all out in the video description. Be sure to come back for tomorrow's day two challenge. And until next time, remember, eat clean, move every day, and you will shine brighter. I will see you next time. Thank you so much for being here with me today for the Mind Body Pelvic Health Bootcamp.